Yeah, what's up? Good morning. It's your girl Nisha. It's mad early. I've been up since five o'clock, you guys. Um oh, y'all, have y'all ever just like I went to bed pretty early last night. But for whatever reason this morning I'm tired. I'm like overly tired, y'all. So this is like a just chat with me, get ready with me. I have to go to my job today, you guys. Um, yeah, so much I have to do. Well, it just feels like I have so much to do, but I probably don't got that much to do. <laughs> it just takes a lot, you guys. Especially like when you're with a child, bro. Like it is so. Ooh, talk about pregnancy journey, y'all. My first trimester was, I feel like, I don't know, like, my first trimester, y'all, was hard for me. Um, again, I have a very supportive partner, so he just, like, Practically, he carried me through the whole trimester because, to be honest with y'all, if I had to be, oh, excuse me, if I had to be realistic, I genuinely don't think I would have made it, y'all. <laughs> I'm not joking, like, seriously. I'm not even joking. I wish I was, but I'm not. That journey was, that journey was difficult, I ain't even gonna cap like I wanted to give up so bad it's like the cramping the excessive tiredness the can't get comfortable and for some people like the can't get comfortable part kind of starts um when does it start like later on like in my second trimester like right now y'all it is really hard for me to get comfortable like my husband bought me a pregnancy pill and everything and I still be tossing and turning, like literally trying to do the freaking stretches and thanks to YouTube. But to be honest, it's not working. It's just not working for me. It's not working. It's not working at all. So yeah. But yeah. Um, every day, y'all. Just it's just about trying to find like motivation to get up. Like second trimester, you do get a lot more energy well let me not put that out there like that because some women they be feeling down like their whole entire pregnancy like it's horrible so i'm glad that my body is strong enough to like endure you know just being pregnant like through the first trimester like my downtime i'm not gonna lie there are some days where um i be having it'd be hard like there'd be days where it, it does be hard like the other day like i was telling you guys last week in my other video um it was just like i was having like a down day and i'm happy that it comes in like days and not like so sporadic you know where it's like every single day so yeah um yeah so it's just, it, it, when it comes, it comes, and last night, I made some food, and we were talking and stuff, and he falls asleep on the couch, I'm tired still, <laughs> I went to bed, knowing I had to get up early, we went to bed, well, he fell asleep a little bit early to me, but when I had got into bed, it was like 10 something, y'all, 10 something, I was over it. I was. And then. Oh, that's another thing that they don't tell you, right? Let me see. There we go. Hold on. Let me try to turn my light up on my phone. There we go. So, another thing that they don't tell you, too, when you're pregnant is that. I mean, they do tell you, but it's just for you to experience on your own. Bruh, you have to use the bathroom. Like, the one moment you get comfortable. You got to get up and go use the bathroom. Do you feel what I'm saying? You got to get up out your comfortable spot and go use the bathroom. <sighs> so 
12 this morning. I get up, I look at the time. <laughs> it's one something in the morning. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I still got a couple more hours. But when you wake up and you get uncomfortable, I be feeling like your child wake up too because now they up. Then the stomach starts with the growling. And it's just like, bruh, bruh. And then it's just like, you're not eating nothing. We're going to sleep. Do you realize we both have to get up in a few, like literally a few hours, more like 10 minutes? Depending on if you let me go to bed or not, please. So yeah, y'all, that's pregnancy for you. It's a lot of good moments, but then there could be a lot of down moments too. Or like you get overly emotional for literally no reason. That's literally me. Uh, my husband will literally tell y'all, I'll be doing good. Boom, out of nowhere, straight up crying. What am I crying for? I don't know. I don't even know why I'm crying. Why am I crying? I don't even know why I'm crying. <laughs> like, what are you crying for? Why are you being such a crybaby? <laughs> like, child, I don't even know. I'm just going through the motions, to be honest with you. But yeah, y'all, today is... Um, Today I am going to my job today. I'm not gonna be there long. Shoot, I hope. I'm tired, y'all. I'll be so tired. I was like, what, what what is my reasons for really being tired for real? <laughs> Besides the fact that I'm pregnant. <laughs> and don't say in the comments, oh, you, you take more vitamins, you need to do this. Shut up. I do take my vitamins every day. I don't need to tell me. Obviously, I have to take vitamins. The baby needs vitamins, though. But, yeah, no, y'all. I just... I don't know. I just be tired. And then, I live in freaking Florida. So, one day, it be like, dang, it looks so beautiful outside. Next day, we lightning and thundering. So not only am I bipolar, so is the weather. So we get along very well. It is like my body can sense it because I just like urgently, like I just get overly like tired. I'm like overly exhausted, y'all. And I literally just be done. Like I'd be like, you know what? <laughs> you know what this day calls for? Sleep. Yeah. Just like today. It calls for sleep. Like I'm genuinely tired. My husband told me this morning, he's like, are you okay? No, I'm tired. I'm exhausted and I'm tired. He's like, what time, what time did you go to sleep? Sir, we practically, when we got in the bed, we went to sleep practically at the same time. But, yeah. Anyways. Don't y'all hate when y'all driving? Because this happened to me this morning. Don't y'all hate when y'all driving and the light be green? And... Like, there's cars already at the red light, but everybody's lights, like, uh, their brake lights are off. But for whatever reason, it still seems like everybody just still on their brakes. And you're, like, not flying, but you're driving. <laughs> you're driving. And when you get up there, now you got to put your brakes on because now you're going faster than the traffic. But really, the traffic should be, like, building up pretty much because, yeah, the traffic should be building up because the light's green. So you should have been pulled off from that light. I don't know why you're still sitting there. I don't know why. That that bothers me. Or like I hate people that get in the fast lane and you're going 30 miles an hour. Why are you over here? <laughs> this section is literally for the thugs. The thugs that like to drive fast. You know, the thugs that can't afford a ticket. You know what I'm saying? The thugs that know how to, like, swerve in and out of lanes. And you know what I'm saying? Like, really be in a bag with the driving. So why you over here? But I just hate the ones that just feel like they so entitled with the road. I'm going to talk about y'all Teslas. Y'all Tesla people? <laughs> mm, okay. Y'all do too much. Y'all do way too much. Y'all do way too much. And it, I have nothing against Tesla. 
I just feel like people that just drive a Tesla just feel like they're automatically entitled to compensation. Automatically. Like, it makes no sense. Because your car notifies you like, oh, you have cars on the side of you. You have cars in front of you. There's a car in your tail. There's a car in your fucking tailpipe. There's a car getting ready to ram you off the road. Like, it tells you literally everything. But the way y'all drive... Negative. Negative. <laughs> negative. That's all I'm gonna say about that is negative. Cause yeah, y'all do too much. Y'all do too much. And then when y'all wanna speed up on somebody, we know you got an electric engine. But let's see you just take that same energy and, and use it in gas. Cause I bet you you're scared. The only reason why you driving like that in a Tesla is because your car gonna break for you. That's why. I have to I have to break on my own automatically. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all y'all Tesla drivers definitely annoying. Definitely. I ain't gonna lie. Semi trucks, y'all get on my nerves too. Because y'all literally got two lanes that's dedicated to y'all, but still some of y'all that just don't like to take y'all time. Y'all wanna get all inside the middle lane and then the last lane, like y'all got it like that. That's a ticket. <laughs> I was thinking, what are you doing? <laughs> what what are you doing? Walmart. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Why do we have 30 lanes? We literally have 30 lanes. And there's only two workers. Did I miss something? Y'all not advertising for health enough? Like, like what do y'all need? Like, tell me what y'all need. Because it makes no sense that the self-checkout line is long because people don't want to wait for the two employees to help the people that got big stuff in their basket. Like, come on now. Y'all need to do better. Y'all, y'all need to do better. And why are y'all letting people at the door check what's in my bag? If they watching and y'all see me, because they stand by self-checkout. If you see me check out and I scan all my items, why are you bothering me? Why? Like, mind your business. I didn't just miss skip and scan a candy and put it in my bag. I didn't do that. The people y'all should be worried about and stuff check out is the people with the big basket. Don't worry about me with my little arm basket and I'm walking around with two items and I get to self check out. If you want to check my receipt, are you crazy? <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. And I went on y'all website too. And y'all talking about y'all got greeters. I ain't been greeted once since I've been to Walmart. I haven't been greeted once. They just look at you when you walk in. And why y'all always put the people with the with the worst attitudes at the door? Like, <sighs> Miss Kim was staring really hard and she looked like she had an attitude. That's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. Or y'all always put the elderly people who, y'all, y'all put them at the door, but when they check the receipt, they're literally checking every item in the bag. Like, <sighs> they're post, you're supposed to check the biggest item that's in the basket, not the not all the items in the bag. Like, now we got a line behind us after we just stood in the line at the register. That's also crazy to me. That's, that's, that's wild. That's wild. Construction workers, love y'all, but um, can y'all please explain to me it's like I'm a newborn all over again. It's like I wake up one morning and I'm driving and there's no cones. But I wake up the next morning and I'm in traffic because now y'all have closed down three of the four lines that I normally would use. Y'all have closed them down with cones. Let alone, I have not seen a sign that said we're going to be putting cones out. You put them on the freeway. You didn't put them on the street. That doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. Make it make sense, y'all doesn't make sense there's a lot of things that don't make sense like why are we still paying 10 cents for a bag <laughs> and i throw them away <laughs> i don't keep them you know it's like it's, it's retarded it's like retarded like this this whole i want to call it the economy but i don't even want to call it that at this point we're in a fucking apocalypse <laughs> Because who's the right, what right mind says we're going to spend 10 cents on a bag and when I get home, I'm throwing the trash. <sighs> it is what it is. It is what it is. I guess this is what we signed up for. 
because back then y'all was giving us them plastic bags where we had to put like eight bags in one when we're carrying you know the, the ghetto you know gallons of juice so it's like what is so different with the old time bags and these bags there's no difference y'all just trying to make money there's no no mm -mm, mm -mm. and then when you got fed up with buying bags now now you don't even want to buy bags because you just want to load up in the car but then now you feel guilty because you don't want to look like the one that's just cheap enough to not want to buy a bag and now everybody's watching you walk out the door with a cart full of stuff like they just see you put all them that them items on the conveyor belt and check out yeah it's <laughs> it's wicked it's wicked out here it's wicked now i gotta look like a sarah because i just purchased like these two dollar bags which supposed to be more hefty you know what i'm saying it's like whatever chance they get they want to make it bad for us every chance it's like one situation is not enough <laughs> what is this just not enough before you want to start telling us to pay for bags especially for walmart please make sure that y'all get more employees in the lines for sure sam's club i love you because y'all are the only places i know besides costco that i know in california thursdays and fridays y'all always give out free food i love y'all for that because who doesn't like a good shop and a good snack <laughs> who doesn't like that Y'all, when I used to be in high school, you know what used to get on my nerves? Is like, I always used to be the girl with the candy. And everybody always wanted to like, get candy from me. But I was so nice. I still I should have started charging them. Like, oh, you got candy? Is it because I'm a big girl? I always got candy. Yes, I got candy. Why? Can I get some? You gonna, you gonna pay me in cash or you gonna pay me in EBT? Because it's the first of the month. And we all live in low income. So you can't tell me your mama ain't shopping yet. Because typically black folks on the 1st or the 15th, as soon as 12 o'clock strike, when Winco was open, well, they're back to 24 hours. But before that, y'all was at Walmart and Winco. So don't play with me. But you wait till I come with my snacks and they want to ask me. Yeah, you crazy. I'm not sharing. But I did share. I always shared with the nice kids that was nice to me. Yep, sure did. Sure did. Sure did. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all. Have y'all ever went to a restaurant? Like after the, the rush, like after the rush hour? And then you go and order your food, but for whatever reason, it's still taking up an hour and 52 minutes to bring you your food, but there's nobody else in the restaurant? Because what, the, what are y'all doing back there? <laughs> what are y'all doing? Can we talk about it? That's what I want to know. Can we talk about it at, like as a group? Or can I come back there and watch you cook my food? Because I went to a Denny's, and Denny's was after hours. We was probably there at like 2, 3, maybe 2, 3, something like that. Yeah, we had just left. We was hungry. I was craving like a, a, a steak and cheese omelet. First of all, when I got my omelet, my it took them forever. First of all, we was sitting in the booth and the people that was behind us, they was just making, he was like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Like the way he was laughing was irritating. I didn't like that. So I, we had moved our table, moved our table. Finally, we got our food, which took like an hour and 52 minutes for show that. So I finally got my omelet. My omelet had a hair in it, sent it back. But when I sent it back this time, it came out quicker than the first time. Okay, so whose omelet was that? <laughs> it's just, it's crazy to me. It's crazy. And then they got the nerve to like close down like sections of the restaurant. Like I don't want to sit with everybody. I want to sit way over there in the corner by the other window. I don't want to sit by this window. There's too many people in this window. Y'all trying to make it look full in here? Well, guess what? It's after hours and it's not. It's not nobody else is coming in. It's just us. So... Yeah, that's what I hate about that. Or like, or like you call and make a reservation. <laughs> you make a reservation. They still have you wait, <laughs> but you're there on time. <laughs> what the freak? Like I could have just been late and I would have still got there on time. <sighs> and then they got the audacity, especially when you book a whole party. The whole party has to be here to be seated. Why? I am the party. It's my party. Let me in. Are you crazy? <laughs> literally. Literally. Are you crazy? 
because at this point, two plus two is not four. <laughs> and now you got me waiting at the door, looking like a whore. I don't like that. No. My reservation was at two. I should be in my chair at two, walking to the seat. You get what I'm saying? That also don't make sense to me. It don't. And I know waiters be trying to do their job, but let us sit down first before you start asking us what do we want to drink. I haven't thought about it yet. I don't know if I want a margarita or four shots. I don't know. Maybe a glass of water to start. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like when they do that, you're rushing me. <laughs> and when I order my food, I don't like to feel rushed. Especially not my drinks, because if I don't like it, Sarah, come pick it up. I'm sending it back. <laughs> right away. <laughs> right away. Right away. Because what we're not doing, we're not doing that. <laughs> you feel me? We're not doing that. And I'm not going to be the irritated one at the table because I just sent my drink back four times and now you're telling everybody she's getting on my nerves. No, if you would have waited and let me look at the menu first for me to pick out exactly what I wanted and if I have questions about something, I will let you know. But don't stay at the table and just wait. That's just like somebody holding the door and now I got to do that fat jog. Like I, I haven't been to the gym and you making me run to the door? Are you stupid? No. It's, it's so much, you guys. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. But you know what? It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. We gonna get through this together. I'm trying to tell y'all. That's all I'm saying, though. That's all I'm saying. That's all I was saying. Y'all, that's it for me for the day. But yeah, I just had to tell y'all about my morning. First of all, about how tired I was. My energy kind of picked up a little bit during this video. But yeah, this is just like a complaint video. Really complaining about the world this morning. But all in all, I'm grateful for it. It's the small things that matter, y'all, not the big things. So I'm about to go ahead and do my hair. I'm about to head out because apparently I'll be late. So I will catch y'all next video. I'll see y'all next one. Bye.